But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today we're making the most famous dish from India to Britain, the paneer butter masala. So without further ado, let's make this, shall we? So I'm going to keep it really simple here. All the ingredients you see on the screen, just cook it in a pan and then blend it and that would be your base gravy. Now let's look at the order of it, okay? So first, most importantly, we're gonna toast off our whole spices. Then add the onions and cook them until softened. After that, just dump all the tomatoes, cashews, green chilies, dried chilies and coriander stems. Now for the masalas, we'll add some salt, coriander powder, red chili powder and some garam masala. And that's basically it. We're just gonna let it cook low and slow for 10 minutes. Now, if you like me and use packaged paneer, this is a great hack for you so that you can make the paneer more softer and get that malaida texture. So, you just have to soak the paneer into some salted hot water, and believe me, the texture changes completely. Now, the gravy must be done by now, and I'm just adding the garam masala that I forgot before. Now, just turn off the flame, remove the whole spices, and then blend it with some ice and butter. So, I added the ice because I don't want the gravy to change its color because of the heat, okay? Now, this is the base gravy for the paneer butter masala. You can use it just like this, or you can strain it to get rid of all of that stuff and you get that velvety smooth texture. Now let's move on to the last step. So now this is what makes the dish different from paneer makhni. So you make a simple onion tomato masala and as you can guess in a lot of butter. So we just saute some onion, garlic and tomatoes and season them with some salt, kashmiri mirch, just a touch of haldi and a teaspoon of garam masala. So we're gonna cook the masalas off and then add our velvety smooth gravy. Mix it well and then add our malai dar paneer. To finish it off just add some kasuri methi and fresh cream. Now just a tip if you let it sit in the pan for just 10 minutes it's gonna taste way better. But well, if you have no patience like me, just dig in. Now this is more of a familiar setup, right? If you watch my shorts, you would definitely know that. So if you don't watch it, do subscribe. You should definitely do that. Now you saw that the base recipe actually is pretty easy. I know the base gravy could take a little bit of your time and effort, but you can make it in a large batch and you can store it in the fridge and then you can use it with chicken, tofu, paneer, whatever you want. It's gonna elevate that flavor. And believe me when I say it tastes better over time. So with that said, definitely try this recipe out. Let me know what you think in the comments or follow me on my Instagram. So if you learned something, do subscribe. Hit that like button by the way. And until then, I'm gonna see you in the next one.